the main reason why the rod bearings fail danger e92 m3 let's see how long it takes for the engine to warm up as you can see i just started it a few minutes ago one of the main problems uh, like around moses rod bearings for the s65 engine the main reason why the rod bearings fail is because people did not warm up their engine before they pushed it so you should never go above two three thousand before your engine is up to temp up to 100 degrees and <laughs> as simple as that i have been talking for ages now and the temperature hasn't even started to move <laughs> The reason it takes so long for this engine to warm up is uh, because of the oil it uses. It's using a 10W60, so it means it's really thick, I believe. And the thicker the oil, the longer it takes to warm up. What a perfect weather to drive the E92 M3. Ain't it lovely? I guess this video is gonna show how safe it is to drive a BMW in wet conditions. Well, let's find out. I already reached my favorite new road and the engine is still not warm. We can slightly push it just a tiny bit. Nothing crazy. lovely my god <laughs> for a second I thought he's gonna park oh, this is a sketchy corner are my lights even on? I think they are these corners are nice but I think I could easily ride my car off around these corners <laughs> Let's see if it's slippery, the traction kicks in it. Oh, it's alright. Gripped up well. I haven't driven this thing in, a, in some time now. I have to say, that was a mistake. Let's see what happens, full throttle, in wet conditions, second gear. Okay, so the traction slightly kicks in. But nothing happened. It's completely safe. Now if you do this, traction off. Should be similar outcome. Okay, uh, <coughs> traction off, second gear. Nothing gonna happen either. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you should not turn the traction off, I think.
but stay safe. This ain't a game after all. Oh shit. Ooh. Tight corner. Would be a perfect corner if I had the vision. What's after the corner? You have to remember you're not alone on the road. Some people have kids, families. You have to say, say, oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Am I can block? That was scary. Almost wrote off the M3. There's cameras everywhere these days. Even on my head. Oh, I know where we should go. Since it's raining now, we should check that flooded road. But how can I find it? I think I'm going the opposite way. that oil spill on the road that's why it's dangerous driving in the wet you, you can't really see any, the oil spill but it was there and the only correct way for me was just to try to survive oh look at this the amazing flood I think it looks deep today let's investigate I think that's way too deep. What do y'all think? God damn. Way deeper than last time. I don't think the M3 can make through this. Not gonna risk it. I would with Miata though. <laughs> Ooh, y'all hear that? Let's turn around. I think we should try to do a little launch. See how it handles the wet conditions. Too bad, not too bad. What do y'all reckon? It hooked up eventually. I think it did. I think we still hit some oil spills. Might be from uh, the V8. I don't know. But it did hook up eventually. I think it's about time to head home. oil spill come on bro how many oil spills are there that's crazy you know if you're a beginner driver 
and you're not ready for that oil spill you would need a brand new car stay safe out there much love hope you enjoyed the video